was what the Weather Service describes as a monstrous tornado, and we want to walk you through the path of that tornado. The first tornado hit Lee County. That was confirmed an EF4, winds over 200 miles an hour. That path went through. It took on dozens and dozens of reports came through about the path that it took. It hit Beauregard at 2 p.m. Central Time. Then the storm went on to Smith Station over the Georgia state line. It hit Ellerslie, that's northeast of Columbus, and then Talbot County. Fort Valley went on to Byron's, Georgia. It just kept going all the way into South Carolina. Again, 20 miles long and at times a half mile wide. Chief, Me Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb was tracking it uh, hour by hour, moment by moment last night. Really just not too much to say that it was monstrous, Chris. Oh, you've got that right, Cheryl. And you know, today folks there, of course, have been cleaning up. And then the National Weather Service has been going in to assess the damage to rate those storms. And of course, we do that on what is called the Enhanced Fujita Scale. And as you know, it starts at EF0 with the winds of 65 to 85 miles an hour. We have already had a couple of those early season tornadoes this year. And then it goes on to EF1. This is what happened last Sunday down in Coweta County. We had an EF1 tornado that went there. But with winds between 86 and 110 miles an hour. The storm in Talbotton is preliminarily being rated as an EF2 storm with winds between 111 and 135. They're calling it a high end EF2 so far. It may be elevated up to an EF3, which would be winds of 136 to 165 miles an hour. And when Cheryl is where Cheryl is located, that's where we had the EF4 over there just across the line into Alabama. And that's a winds of 160 to 200 miles an hour. They're saying those winds, they were probably around 170 mile an hour winds in Lee County. And of